Now, am I really playing Battlefield 4? Holy crap. You are really playing Battlefield 4. It feels so, I, like, snappy. Yeah, I mean, the game's running at, like, 300 FPS. <laughs> <laughs> it better feel snappy. Like, damn, bro. What's this? I get into a server that's functioning the first try. <laughs> that never happens. All right. Well, <laughs> consider me impressed. We're playing some Battlefield 4. It's been a while. I think it was long overdue. Oh my god, it's so bombastic already. Oh, he hello, goodbye. Okay, no reses for you. Okay, okay. I'm not needed. I am a useful member of my team. Alright, alright, we're going real fast. Where are we going? Where are we going? Oh no, oh no, why, why? Don't do this. Oh, we survived. Okay. This is going so fast. <laughs> uh, we're playing. Ah, oh, he hit the light pole. What a way to go. Oh, gotcha. Hello. Ah, I know it's not the most desirable format, but we are playing in ultra wide today. I've been testing a new QD OLED ultra wide monitor. This thing is amazing. I'll have a full review up on the Epos Fox channel at some point of it, but in the meantime, I'm just having fun with it. And we actually found a rush match. Like I'm stoked about this right now. This game is still so pretty. I'm using the auto HDR in Windows 11 to play it in HDR on this display. And it's gorgeous. Ooh, -hoo, through the clouds. Thank you for the spot. Nope, nope, nope. Oh, 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 Levolution, Levolution. I can, I can get the res. And nope. <laughs> Every time I try to res. That's, that's how it usually goes for me. I should just accept. I know they're like right in that smoke. There, yep. Someone was much faster than I am. There we go. That's what I was waiting on. I gotta say, I do miss the ability to slide. Mad lad just ignored the dude in the corner. What a ballsy play. There's so many right here though. Yep, 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 yep. Elevator Y. What's hardcore mean? Just that means it's a lot harder. That's what she said. We ain't about that softcore life. Oh, it's not North America, is it? Oh boy. Yeah, I had a 35 MS ping to it, so. Ow, 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 ow. Uh, it was the Ooh. GMH gaming one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Had like 13 right. people, so I guess 14 now. This game put in auto HDR is awesome. Dude. Can I just say, Ooh. I think auto HDR might be the best thing about Windows 11. Auto HDR is so good. I had no idea MCC didn't have HDR in PC, but like, with auto HDR, it's totally fine. It looks great. Yeah. Ow. Now, am I really playing Battlefield 4? Holy crap. You are really playing Battlefield 4. It feels so, I, like, snappy. Yeah, I mean, the game's running at, like, 300 FPS. <laughs> <laughs> it better feel snappy. Like, damn, bro. Got it in that HDR, ultra wide, 180 hertz. Whew. This is a gaming experience right here, boys. Oh, the headshots! Oh, the headshots! It just doesn't stop, dude! I'm getting too loud. I gotta tone it down. Oh my god, there's like three dudes. Oh no. I thought you liked it that way. Bruh. Any, any less and you'd be bored. <laughs> Bruh, that takes me back to the Call of Duty audience, dude. Oh, the pistols feel so good. What is this? That's fine. Let I mean, complain. honestly, more ultra wide content needs to I know. Oh, I just killed you, fool. Ow. You're dead to me, bro. I mean, I am. I'm waiting to respawn. <laughs> Same, dude. Because, you know, you killed me. How could you? 
You're you're taller. How fucking dare you? <laughs> I just realized. I just found out recently that was Markiplier, and I'm like mind blown, dude. That man has no one of the most dynamic about. voices ever. But yeah, Battlefield 4 has some Ooh. of the coolest sidearms in any Battlefield game. I don't think I realized this. These are amazing. I usually hate pistols in games. Yeah, I think this game suffers from like every gun kind of feeling the same to a certain extent. Yeah. Like but, there's some that are really stand out, but otherwise they're all just like pew pews. Yeah. And uh, I like, it's weird because I feel like, you know, everyone complains about 2042's lack of guns, which I get, you know, there's like 10, but it's like the same amount of variety in terms of like what's actually fun to use. Yeah. As Cause that was always my problem coming back is I would log in and I'd have like 50 guns to choose from and they'd all feel the same. And I'm not, I wasn't sure why they weren't like slaying as good as I hoped. Yeah. Honestly, like shout out to 2042's weapon progression because it's like 300 kills and you got everything basically. It's, it sounds like a lot, but you're, you know, you got the bot matches that you can level stuff up in. Or, I mean, just it's 128 players on a server. You're going to get 25, 50 kills a match. Like, yeah. a one game, one night of gaming, and you're going to have a, a whole weapon, like, completely. Into, like, dude, making content about Warzone was an, a nightmare because to unlock anything takes, like, a week. Yeah. Yeah. It's and, like Ice was talking about the MP9 or whatever, and I was like, I haven't even seen that. What the hell is that? And then, like, three matches later it's like oh i have it okay cool yeah yeah this game battlefield 4 was like hey you wanna you wanna play with the guns uh buy the shortcut pack That's yeah, the i remember that because <laughs> there's 800 guns by the way and uh yeah you unlock like two oh. of them okay auto hdr outside in the snowy part is kind of blinding ow okay my eyes I don't dude think there's it was a show on netflix uh it's like it's like a, a western and there's a scene where uh, a character is like in a dark room and they there's through the door is like just the golden hour sunlight, like just oh like God. beaming in. Yeah, it is. I watched it in HDR. It's like shining a flashlight directly <laughs> into your retina. Yep. And it, it looks incredible, but it hurt. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think there's a lot of learning curves that have to be picked up on with HDR that not everyone's there on yet. I mean, it's the same yeah. thing. Like, when I tried playing... Now, granted, my TV isn't the best for HDR in the first place, but when I tried playing God of War in HDR and all the menus were black with the bright white text yeah. and it's also small in 4K, like, I can't yeah, see it on top contrast. of the contrast. Like, it's... It was nuts. The amount of contrast and, like... Mm -hmm. How much of an eff how the it's about the feeling of looking at a bright light rather than the light actually being super right. bright, and it's because a good HDR displays are like insanely bright. Yeah, but it, it I don't know I don't think people think of HDR as like it makes the colors more saturated, and it makes the it makes the how picture am I missing brighter, all of these shots? Hello, nice. Is this a TV? Right. Okay, there we go. This Jesus is the TV. Guy. While we're talking about engineering the future of the Battlefield franchise, you should check out the Curiosity Stream documentary series, Engineering the Future, to talk about how <laughs> the future of civilization and infrastructure will be engineered on our here planet Earth. Don't know what Curiosity Stream is? Curiosity Stream is a wonderful streaming website full of thousands of documentaries and entertaining titles to help stimulate your mind for learning. Plus, it's not just that. I, I have a little secret to tell you. If you sign up for Curiosity Stream at the link below, curiositystream.com slash lost saves, you will get an email invite after you sign up inviting you to Nebula. Nebula is my own streaming platform where my videos are early. I have tons of videos you haven't seen yet up early over on Nebula. My videos are ad free over there and I have exclusive content on many of my other channels and my, I have a documentary series for print screen, things like that. Lots of stuff you can watch over there. You, you get invited to that just by signing up for Curiosity Stream. You get both sites bundled together because we have this wonderful bundle and that bundle is available for under $15 per year. You get two sites, you get lots of content, it's a blast, and if you want to keep watching these videos, 
go check those out over on Nebula when you sign up at curiositystream.com slash lost saves. And I, I mean, I have two. Like, this this monitor is the first... I own two $1,400 Dell monitors that were like the ultimate HDR monitors at one point. They were the only ones that did the full 1,000 nits spec. And I never turned yeah. HDR on it because it just wasn't good. And this is immediately like an amazing HDR experience. Yeah, you need like a really good local dimming array. Yeah. Or OED or something to... Because, you know... It's like turn, it's like putting a flashlight on behind the pixels yeah. on most monitors, and it just doesn't look good. Like my monitor, I have right now is uh, it's one of those like faux HDR monitors where it does like 400 yeah. nits peak brightness, and an SDR looks phenomenal. But you turn yeah. HDR on, and it's like it looks like SDR. Yeah. Like it doesn't look different. That's how it is for my ultra wide in the office. It was again a $1,200 Pro Art ultra wide, and just going back and forth between these two, it's night and day. Like, I don't want to use... <laughs> I don't want to use an LCD ever again. Oh, fuck. <laughs> just like the, uh, you know that it's... this. I made this meme. It's yeah. mine now. <laughs> I own this. I own this. <laughs> I own this. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. You guys know what you sent me. How am I supposed to go back? <laughs> Oh, you tried, you tried, you tried. Listen, I would have gotten away with it if it weren't for your damn meddling gun, dude. It wasn't for your high dynamic range. Bro, your ace sure gave you a gamer advantage, dude. Yeah. Hacker. And that, like, the console port's respectable for Battlefield 3, but it is not Battlefield 3. It is like a watered down. Ooh, 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 ooh. Sit down. Thing. It's not the same. Yeah. And on PC, Battlefield 3 is like. Oh, why is there a scope? It's insane how good that game is on PC. It's just. The yeah. problem is, because it's on PC, you're like used to, like, you know, you shoot bullets at people and they hit them perfectly because, you know, multiplayer. Yeah. But that game runs at like 10 hertz. Yeah. <laughs> so it, it feels really it weird. It doesn't feel on as PC. good as I remember it, but. Like, I remember whenever Metro first released, it was, it would literally, if you had a full match on Metro and you got to the inside part, it could just turn off your Xbox. Like, that was it. Yeah. You get the, uh, the jet takeoff sound coming out of your Xbox <laughs> instead of the game. And you think your Xbox is about to start shooting, flying at you. 